All right, guys. So let's uh, go over like when uh, the person is going to start like playing deep half guard on you. You know, like as I do a lot of knee cut, so that happens a lot to me that I start going for the knee cut. I give some, I, I give a little space, and I might mistake it. The guy goes under, or I might even bait him to do it. I might, as I know the guy going for it, and I use that timing to go for the submission. Sounds good. So I, as I know he's going to the deep half, and then I let him go, and I go and counter him on that submission. Sounds good. So first, let's work in the uh, loop choke. So let's say I was here with Ken, you know, like I started like passing the knee cut position over here. He's going to start like grabbing my leg over here and I know I am going to the deep half, right? As he starts pinning his leg, my hand is going to go in the collar. Let's just turn around a little bit over here, Ken, please. My hand is going to go on this side of his collar now. So as he starts going to the deep half already, I'm going to start like putting my hand underneath his head and I'm going to start like leaning on this way and then it looks like I'm going to fall. As he comes on top, I gotta to lock my lens. Sometimes you're gonna be able to come up all the way, sometimes not. Sometimes you're gonna be in the triangle, you know, depends on how he reacts. So to get the submission over here, I just squeeze my knees and push him away. Sounds good. So sometimes like it's gonna be really depends on how the person will try to defend and you see that I end up with the loop choke plus the triangle. So that might happen as well, you know, like, especially if the guy is really uh, uh, anxious to sweep you. He's really like uh, missing the timing. He want to get that sweep anyways, you know, he might be like desperate to get that point, you know, and that helps you. So he, he mistakes. So I'm going to be down over here. You know, I step my leg a little close that he can reach. You see how I bait him into go? Once he, he get the bait, my knee is pointing down. I'm gonna start like pointing my, I'm gonna start switching my base. And the perfect time for me to start like going to is when his knees is still pointing to this side and then I put my hand in. When he start putting his knee out to the other way, that my hand is already here. So now my hand can go under and I'm gonna start close my elbow down and as I fall, I get the right, the perfect angle to go for it. But if he goes and put both hands under, like, and then I went up here, but there's no problem. I just lock his head and then the choke is gonna be really tight even though. Okay, so when he hides this hand under and try to come up, I can lock the legs over here as well. You see the first time I show it, his hand was inside, and then we end up in the triangle. Your hand inside over here, and then we end up in the triangle. If he put the hand under and try to get a double under, I can finish the same way. Just squeeze and push my hand under. In the loop choke, it's very important that you get the action reaction. You get the right time because you don't want to keep fighting with the guy's neck, trying to get his hand under, so you want to be smooth and find the right time to go for it, okay? So, let's go one more time over here, okay? So I'll be here in the knee cut. As he start like grab my leg, I bait him to do it. He always used his hand here to try to, to make me travel to the other side. I start switching my base. I drop one knee in, and he goes and put his leg to the other side. My hand is in the call already, sounds good. So now I'm gonna start like putting his head up, Tap in, and I'm gonna start like falling. As I start falling, I'm gonna be here, boom, on my shoulder. If his hand is out, like inside of this, I have the triangle. If he, as he come up, he put his hand out like on the double wonders, boom, no problem. I will be here with the loop choke and his head in the middle, start squeeze, and I can get the, the choke. Very powerful choke. Uh, the loop choke is always, you know, uh, very powerful. Gets tight really quickly. But make sure you use your legs as well so you avoid the guy to keep spinning out.